underbelly um, without too much trouble. If your floor is here, you're obviously going to have to do it from the bottom, correct? Correct. His floor is not here. This is a perfect opportunity for him to replace his underbelly, um, basically uh, just like he's done it here. He's took in Tyvek or whatever he chose right there, some low stuff Tyvek, I'm guessing house wrap, which is basically what an underbelly is and it breathes. And he attached it to his outside wall, dropped it down in and came back up over. So he, now he can drop a uh, row of insulation right there. And he can drop another row of insulation right there and right there. And then he just needs to keep continuing on down through here and he'll have an underbelly that will be pretty awesome if you ask me. But most people don't have the opportunity of replacing the underbelly from the top side. So I'm going to tell you how you can do it on your house from the underside. Hey, folks. I have a drilling for our marks. in here at all so where he has not came in and added two by sixes to the sides and scabbed along these things which that is going to make it so incredibly strong um where he has not done that where there's going to be a center wall down through here we're just going to actually add a center wall temporary and um so that we can get our plywood and everything up there and make it good and solid before we get started and straight most important part if anybody has a question, my opinion only on how to replace these, um, this would be my opinion. Um, so uh, I think I can show you better than I can explain to you what I would do. Because we know what the other side looks like. Just like that. So if you have your ceiling down, and you want to give yourself some substantial uh, strength on your ceiling to put anything you want up there, sheetrock or whatever. There you go. Go to one side or the other, whatever is most convenient. Put your spacers in there so it's the same all the way down. Okay. Try to get these as straight as you can. Actually, try to get these as straight as you can before you start. So he didn't start out with this one too good. So I would not suggest leaving one in kind of on an angle like that so he did and even apparently after these were installed there's been leaks on this place as you can see on the wood but anyways my suggestion would be your sheet rocks out you have an exposed ceiling you get them crappy raptor type things up there you get a piece of wood that will go from that side to that side Cut them to fit the space and screw them together, make them one. Something I don't uh, necessarily see. I'm thinking maybe he just toenailed them up to the bottom. I'm not sure how, oh, I see it. He has them nailed through this side. I probably use screws. I'm a screw guy, I like a lot of screws. I don't use nails for much of anything. So you slide one side up here, slide it in, that side, knock it in up against the other rafter, and you have a solid, solid roof right there. Way, way stronger than it ever was, obviously. <clears throat> so that's what he's done throughout this whole place. That's the reason why he could take out all these walls and not worry about his roof caving in. Same thing at this end. He's, if anybody who wants to know what their mobile home looks like underneath the interior, this is it. This is it. Some of them have actual, literally have two by four walls. This has, this has a two by three. Shoot. That's about one and a half by two, actually, um, wall. 
in this place. But they're every 16 inches and they're also doubled up every other noticing. And that's probably for their four foot sheet panels that they put on the wall when they construct them at the manufacturer. They double them. So there's a double every four feet throughout the whole trailer from one end to the other. And as you can see, they did the same thing on the other side and they did that, I'm sure, for their paneling that they put on the inside to match up. So I think this guy's done a great job in here, um, securing his roof and making it stronger than it ever was. He'll put plywood on the outside and um, after he finishes with the plywood on the outside, he's gonna put some type of siding on it. I don't know what. He's gonna completely insulate the inside and he's not 100% sure what type of insulation he's gonna use, whether it's the foam um, or regular, uh, regular insulation. He's actually even thought about bringing, adding two by fours to the walls and making them come out a little bit. So that's something, yeah, just like this. This is something he's uh, considering adding two by four walls because uh, he wants better, stronger walls. So he's gonna go with the three and a half. So what he's working on is getting that plate all the way down through here at three and a half inches so that he can have himself a three and a half inch wall. It's pretty awesome. It's gonna be awesome. So, having it open up like this sure does make remodeling easy. All these windows will be removed and replaced with new. It's gonna be a great place. I can't wait to uh, see the end and hopefully I'll be in the area one day and be able to check it out because like I say, we are the travelers and we are from North Carolina. We're here in Shimong, New Jersey for this job. And we're heading to the next.